Good morning, Mr. President. Morning, Ed. May God be with you, Ed. Mr. President, may God be with you. I'll have uh, two eggs over medium, some juice, and a cup of coffee. Oh, and uh, cancel that world war, will you? What would your reaction be to a Labour victory over Mrs. Thatcher? Well, if that happened, we as Americans would respond in the normal, responsible way to a democratic election in another country. Thank you, sir. We'd send in the CIA to help round up all the socialists and execute them inside a football stadium. Uh -huh. How's that, Casper? Mm. And people say I can't remember anything. <laughs> Ed? What? Don't worry about the brain, Ed. Oh. I feel so much better without it. Also... <laughs> It's just dandy for keeping things cold, Ed. Listen, Mr. President, we're winding up to another election. I'm telling you, the American people are not going to accept a president ain't got no brain. What about Gerald Ford? <sighs> okay, fine. Suit yourself. <laughs> Shit. Cheers, Ed. Morning, dear. Ah, hey, Nance, what a terrible dream. I am parched. <laughs> That's better. I could use another one of those. Heck of a nurse. Ladies and gentlemen, an audience with Ronald Reagan. Well, it's great to be here on Saturday Live. Well, it's great to be here on Saturday anyway. <laughs> That's your question, so fire away, fellows, as I said to the Sixth Fleet yesterday. <laughs> uh, Mr. President, huh? uh, what exactly are you doing over here? Well, to be frank, I'd have to be Italian and sing my way and not have any connections with organized crime. <laughs> so I think I'm going to be old Ronnie instead. Mr. President, what exactly are you doing over here? Well, sir, let me answer this way. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Pretty smart for a guy of 103, huh? <laughs> Next answer, please. Uh, Mr. President, is it true that you had no knowledge of the Iranian arms deal at any stage? I had no knowledge of anything at any stage. <laughs> I'm against terrorists, and I won't have anything to do with them. That's why I got Israel to sell them the guns. <laughs> they have to get up pretty late in the morning, fellas, to catch me awake. <laughs> okay, Sir Robin. Uh, Mr. President, did you know that the profits of the arms deal went to the Contras? Can, can you speak a little softer, please? I can almost hear you. <laughs> you, over there, ask me something easy. What's your favorite color? I have never illegally supported the Contras, and the money was not siphoned through CIA bank accounts for my full knowledge. Uh, thank goodness I didn't give anything away. <laughs> Mr. President, don't you think you're too old to be a president? Uh, yellow. Definitely yellow. <laughs> Or possibly gravy. Uh, 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 how is your arsehole? Casper Weinberger's just fine. <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Last question, please. Is it true, as reported in last week's papers, that you have a memory problem? What was the question again? <laughs> no, no time for that. I've got to do Saturday Live in a minute. <laughs> Cue the music, fellas. ...by Boseland. My heavens, he's at the middle of the afternoon already. Oh, oh. I die, honey. Answer that, will you, Nancy? Okay, honey. It's one of those horrible, horrible calls again. That's okay, honey. I'll deal with the filthy son of a bitch. Now look, Mr. Chernenko, I've told you not to call me at home. 